they, you wouldn't also deny the fact that between the time that Navtej was delivered and today, our society has found much greater acceptance, say, of uh, same-sex relationships. Yes. So the last five years that we have seen it unfold, Definitely. there's been, and that's very positive because you know there you find that there is a greater acceptance acceptance in our universities. And by the way, our universities don't consist of only urban kids; they all come yes. from the yes, of course, smaller from the smaller areas. Yes. Yes. But there is this acceptance, which is evolving. Chief Justice may recognize, my lords, that the Hindu Marriage Act is not an issue necessarily of personal law, it is statutory law. And we will demonstrate that. The terms of the constitution, the reform of the Hindu Marriage Act has always been in the context of statutory law. So my lords, to that extent and that extent only, in the context of statutory law and making statutory law workable, because my lords will know, my lords, that the origin of the Hindu Marriage Act, the Hindu Code, did something that was not permitted in sacramental Hindu law, which is inter-caste marriage, inter-sagotra marriage, divorce, inheritance to inheritance. Dr. Purswami, but there's also me, a, there's a, Dr. Purswami, there may be a, uh, there may be some uh, amount of uh, sage wisdom in also going about our interpretative task in an in incremental manner, because otherwise, do we then confine ourselves only to the Hindu Marriage Act? And what about the Parsi Marriage Act? What about the Muslim uh, law? What about the Jews? What about the Buddhists? We, a lot of other communities. Therefore, perhaps uh, one option for the court, because the constitution itself and the law is itself evolving. So, uh, and the court has to be mindful of the fact that we are doing by process of interpretation uh, what you're calling upon us to do. So it may be some element of some uh, element of judicial discretion, and perhaps going incrementally, yes. covering us covering a canvas for the present, yes. which would substantially then, uh, assuming that even there you are right, because you have to hear the other <coughs> side, uh, confine yourself to this incremental canvas, and then allow society to evolve, uh, allow parliaments perceptions to evolve over a period of time because parliament is also responding to the evolution of society uh, over a on, period on of time. On the canvas after Ms. Kuruswami is finished, I want just three or four minutes. Are we finished? Yeah, but it's only three or four because land print is given, my land print is given. Because we can't deny the fact. On canvas. Well, we can't deny the fact that there is undoubtedly the legislative element also involved, which is why they are states, the parliament, what the my respectful said. submission. Having regard to that, Hello. we need to balance out various facets. So this might be perhaps one, one way forward. That's the only thing I'll say to this. Is so we don't have to decide everything to decide something in this case. No, no, my lords, I, I follow. I follow. The only there thing are, uh, I'll say to Swami. Yes, my lords. One is the channel pointed out by Mr. Rothi in a restrictive sense that only construe the Special Marriage Act uh, if it founds favor with us, it will give us status of marriage. If it not, he rightly said, you are out. Therefore, whether issues, other issues at all arise or don't arise, will depend on how we interpret this aspect. Other not, issues may may survive for another day, or may not survive for the time being for another day, depending on what we view we take on this core issue. And uh, in the wisdom, as the Chief Justice said, sometimes incremental uh, changes in issues of social and society ramifications are possibly a better cause. There is a time for everything. There is time for some things to come. Therefore, uh, what was being suggested was, uh, can we, for the time being, confine it only to this limited issue? Don't step into, let me complete. Don't step into personal law issues under religious, different religious norms. Don't get into any of those issues. But only say that, can the Special Marriage Act be interpreted in a manner by reading into it a general, uh, a gender neutral situation, yes, uh, period. Can I say, you know, perhaps far you can then help us, you can assist us, you can assist us, and we'll ask the solicitor also to assist us on how we can sort of uh, develop the notion of a civil union yes. which really finds recognition in our in our statute namely the, the special, special marriage act see because 
Uh, now, for instance, you know, you, I'm sure you, they, they, you wouldn't also deny the fact that between the time that Navtej was delivered and today, our society has found much greater acceptance, say, of uh, same-sex relationships. Yes. For the last five years that we have seen it unfold, Definitely. there's been, and that's very positive because you know there you find that there is a greater acceptance acceptance in our universities. And by the way, our universities don't consist of only urban kids; they all come yes. from the yes, of course, smaller of the smaller areas. Yes. yes, but there is this acceptance which is evolving. So oh. you know, in this evolving consensus. The court is also playing a dialogical role to yes. create that consensus uh, and move towards a more equal future. While being conscious well, of our own limitations, yes. which yes, we can't well, deny in the legislative well, arena. I follow. I, I, the only request I would make is that the question may be left open it's not being to be adjudicated. Obviously, we are not going to reject uh, what we don't. Yes, we can always confine be, our yes. canvas and then not reject yes, it. Uh, obviously not. Yes. We are, yes. and that and is not necessary for the court to do at all. Simply this. That the second point is simply this: that marriage is not only as if that were not. But enough. leave broader and broader issues for a for an evolving future. Yes, but marriage is not only a question of dignity, as if that were not enough. It is also a bouquet of rights that LGBTQ people are being denied post Johar. Right? Those rights are simple things: bank account. Life insurance, good night, good night. medical insurance. <laughs> I, for instance, frankly, can, rental accommodation. Rental. I cannot buy SCBA medical insurance. Citizenship. I am a member of the SCBA bar. I cannot buy my family medical insurance from the SCBA. So this is the reality of how rights are exercised. Rights are exercised when you are able to protect your relationships. One facet of that right is a constitutional value of dignity, equality, fraternity. The other facet of that right is the day-to-day -day business of life. And the day-to-day -day business of life is all of these things. Now, when we look at law in India, and all common law is premised like this, that most rights flow from this notion of blood relationship, i.e. either being born into the family or being married. That is the problem, my lords. And so, therefore, short of full marriage, whether my lords find that under the Special Marriage Act or be that as it may, short of full marriage, it will mean, if it's short of that, it will mean that subsequently, not just Mr. Rodgi, Mr. Kripal, me, we will keep coming back to court to have to litigate individual issues of discrimination. I am not able to nominate my partner for life insurance. Now, these are not theoretical issues. This is our life. Right? So, so therefore we say marriage, because that is the notion, not only for society, but that is the notion that the legal framework, which is premised on common law, understand and takes within its fold. So not therefore, my lords, respectfully, therefore the problem is that anything short of that, if it is a civil union, so this correspondence will now start, my lord, with insurance company, with banks, with hospitals, with wills, with estate duties, with anything that is prerequisite to being able to live a life outside the home, including buying that home. Now, well, it's, uh, so, the state of, and so there are things. folds here. Mr. Raghi, and, taking a cue from what she says, yeah. see, even in Putuswami, when we laid down the right of privacy, yeah. we were conscious that it had many nuances. We said we can't beforehand take all nuances into account and rule on this thing. As it evolves, things will evolve. That's the basis of the... But, you know, these are absolute day-to-day -day issues. So, you know, take the, take the income tax act. The two partners you know, can't give a gift. Gift is not free of tax. But provided without you are married. If you succeed, I'm saying if, if you succeed on the fundamental issue, yes. that it can be read into, things will work out. Many nuances will start it may take time to work out. It may require more visits to the court. One can't say. But they are, it is very difficult to say that we work out all possible nuances now. Even the nuances which you think exist at the moment to be taken as a bundle of things and dealt with. So, uh, therefore, the suggestion which was following was, let us, if we confine it to this fundamental issue under a particular act, that's it.
don't touch personal laws. We don't touch anything else. 